Hello again. So today I was uh, cleaning out my garage and I used to have this old arcade and I had a whole bunch of parts for it from fixing it up and whatnot. And I was kind of thinking, what can I do with these arcade buttons that I got? And I started thinking about auto hotkeys and maybe I could do something with that. So I think this will be a pretty cool video for you guys to you know, see if it's something you'd be interested in, if you can come up with other ideas. There, there's a whole bunch of stuff I feel like you could expand with this. So then I'm at the grocery store, and I see this jewelry box, which I'll show you here. So just a simple little kind of cardboard with a fabric on it. And I ended up drilling some holes in it, and I put the arcade buttons in there. Got that little chrome shine going on there. So this kind of looks crappy. Uh, <laughs> as you see, I had to put some cardboard in there. And then I just put some stickers on it. Uh, I plan to definitely redo this uh, a little bit later uh, in an actual plastic like casing that's designed specifically for this. And I'm thinking about making something kind of like an arcade uh, gaming pad for my computer or what have you. Possibly even see if I can get auto hotkeys running pretty decently on a Raspberry Pi. If you don't know what that is, it's a tiny little computer that's like the size of an alt, uh, like a tin can or alt toys, I think they're called. The little mint things. And they're pretty cool. They can do a lot of stuff. Uh, you can't really run games too much. You can run Minecraft, uh, the original version on it actually pretty well, but that's all I've ever really seen it used for. So let's take a look at what I got inside. I was going to open it, but the wiring is god awful. Uh, like I said, this is just kind of a test, so I kind of crammed everything in there real quick. Didn't really tie anything down very well. I didn't even solder. Uh, I was able to wrap the, the wires on there pretty well. I just didn't want to do all that stuff yet because I do plan to switch cases later. So this is the chip I'm using. Yeah, it's called an iPack 2. And... It's pretty simple. You uh, just hook the wires up into the little slots here, screw them down with a little kind of like glass screw, glass of screwdriver. You can find these all over the internet. Uh, I just got it from this website, which I'll include in the description below. But it's only 39 bucks. Not too bad. You can hook up to 32 connections there. They also do have an iPack 4, which I think is uh, just like 64 connections you could uh, hook up. But iPack 2 kind of did it for me. Here's a bird's eye view there. And that just connects uh, to your computer through USB. So the buttons I'm using, you saw the outside, but let's take a look at a little better view of them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I believe it's these ones I got. So they can light up too. I don't currently have them hooked up to have power running to the LEDs that are in them but I'll be doing that a little bit later. So as you can see, there's some little connection pieces down here. There's a diagram, just in case you want to see it. And these are uh, 615 each. So I actually ended up spending more money on buying the buttons than I did the actual little chip, just because I had ended up buying, I think around 20 some of these is what I needed for the arcade machine I had uh, redone. But yeah. Let's go ahead and look at the code that I did. So nothing special here. Um, the buttons basically just mimic a keyboard. And so I got left, right, up, and down is what I'm using here. And I just got a message box that just says the animal that's on the sticker there. So when I press that one, it's going to say you pressed hamster, monkey, pig, or frog. There are six buttons on there but I only got four of them working at the moment. I just got a little lazy and just wanted to quit for the day, jump on my computer instead, but I'll get those up and running eventually. So let's try this out. So this is the part actually would you guys would manipulate your code. Obviously, you probably don't want a message box. You maybe just want, I don't know, press a button and it'll run Chrome or automatically mute or whatever it is. I use stickers on here. Uh, the cool thing is you can actually unscrew the uh, lids here and you could print out a you know a picture of whatever you want, maybe a Chrome logo, so that way when you press it, it opens Chrome. 
but I just found some stickers laying around uh, just because I'm not 100% sure yet what I want to do with them. So yeah, let's go ahead and I'm going to push the hamster and zoom out there. And it probably helps if you run the script. All right, press hamster and there we go. You press hamster, monkey. Okay, that one might have came loose there. That happens from time to time. Just because it's not wired up very well. So, pig. And frog. So like I said, I didn't uh, solder these down. So this uh, wire inside the box might have came loose while I was moving around with it. So, yeah, it doesn't seem to be... Oh, there it goes. But once I solder them down, they should work flawlessly. Kind of another idea I had with this was I have my keyboard. It has a numpad on it, but I don't really want to put stickers on my actual like day-to-day -day numpad that I use uh, for work or whatnot. So I found a extra numpad that's just like a USB thing, and I'm going to print out some stickers and put them on that. That way I can create a script that replaces all the numpad keys to do whatever I want. And I don't have to sit there and say like, okay, if I press the one key, what does that do again? Well, I'll have a Chrome sticker on there and knowing that, okay, if I push that, it's going to open Chrome. That was kind of my idea. I plan to do that. Uh, and I'll probably upload another video showing that along with my new uh, mod box there that I made and show you kind of what I came up with there. And it would be nice because then I could just unplug that and close out my script and I still have my normal numpad where I do want to actually see the numbers. Now if you want to get really fancy with it, which I think I'm probably actually going to end up doing in the long run, is there is a website, and I'll also include that in the description below. You can actually get custom made uh, keys for your uh, keyboard and I I'm pretty sure these are probably 3D printed it kind of looks like. Uh, you can get ones here that are logos. Uh, you can get text ones, which is pretty cool. Uh, that way, if you want to actually put what the function you have called on there, go for it. This is a pretty cool website. I'm sure there's others out there. Let's get a little bit of a better view there. So yeah, I mean, this would be cool. Instead of, like I said, remembering, okay, if I press the one key, what does it do? Well, now I know that if I push it, it's going to turn my power off because I have that big red... You know power button there so yeah if you guys have any other ideas of how you think this could be used what would you do with this like what kind of scripts would you run based off my little uh, box there please let me know i would definitely want to kind of see what i want to use it for still i haven't come up 100 percent with a plan yet uh, so yeah just comment below push that like button you should probably buy this key right here first so you can like every video i do and please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.